and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Brittany Lung. We pick up where we left off last week in Florida, where Connor Mosak, Joe Valento, and Jesse Love ran the final nights of the World Series of Asphalt Stock Car Racing at New Smyrna Speedway. And Jake Bullman finished up competition in the NX Winter Nationals at Citrus County Speedway in Inverness, Florida. Let's get started with Toyota Racing Development driver Jesse Love, who is in the number 21 prepared Chris Wimmer Motorsports Super Late model. On night number five, Jesse started ninth and fought his way to a fourth place finish. On night six, Jesse took the pole, but due to the invert, he would start fourth. He would then battle his way to a third place finish. On night seven, Jesse would top the charts in qualifying, then pulled a four for the invert. Jesse battled in the top five and eventually made his way into third for another podium finish. On Saturday night, round eight, a 100 lap main event would attract some of the top names in late model racing, like Ty Majeski, Steven Nassi, and Bubba Pollard, just to name a few. Jesse qualified third, but had to start sixth with the invert. With 100 laps ahead of him, Jesse fought hard, running a consistent pace with the leaders. He ended the night with a third place finish and securing third in overall points. Quite a finish for your first visit to a historic venue. Jesse heads back out west on Thursday night for the Arca Menards West Series season opener at Las Vegas Motor Speedway's Bullring. Chevrolet Drivers Edge development driver Connor Mosak took to the track in his KBR development pro-late model on night five, where he would roll off second and continue his strong run with a third place finish. On night six, he would roll off ninth, his worst starting position of the week, fighting a tight condition. During the race, he had to settle for a ninth place finish. On night seven, he would qualify on the pole, drew a two for the invert and started outside of the front row and brought home a second place finish. Connor went into round eight on championship night with the points lead and after a hundred laps of competition, he came away with a third place finish, ending Speed Week second in the point standing, only two points out of first or one position. What a week the Charlotte, North Carolina driver had. Six top five finishes and a ninth place finish in seven starts. Up next for Connor Cars Tour season opener with the Junior Motorsports on March 7th at Southern Nationals Motorsports Park. Joe Valento made his World Series of Asphalt Start Car Racing debut with KBR Performance in his first ever late model event on night five. He would start 23rd and work his way to a 19th place finish. He built on that run on night six where he started 19th and made a strong run to the 16th position. Night seven saw Joe roll off 18th in the feature and he was able to maneuver his way to a 14th place finish to finish off his Speed Weeks run. The game plan coming into Speed Weeks was to run all the laps finish on the lead lap and bring home a clean race car. And that's exactly what the young Scandian Minnesota driver did. Job well done. Jake Bowman wrapped up his NX Winter Nationals competition at Citrus County with consistent finishes, bringing his number 71 home third in the overall points championship and maintains 10th in points nationally after combining his finishes at the Chili Willie in Arizona earlier this year. Jake heads back to Las Vegas in his legend car this weekend to compete at the Bullring. Caden Honeycutt was at Heart of Texas Speedway in Waco, Texas in the IMCA Sport Dirt Modified for Team Buckmeyer Motorsports. There were over 40 cars competing for a starting position in the A-Main. Caden started 15th and worked his way up to a fourth place finish. Caden will be back in the car this weekend at Kendall Speedway on both Friday and Saturday night. Drivers who are not racing this past week but will see action this week include Joey East, who will be making his Arca Menard Series West debut at the Bullring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. 
Remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't miss Race Face Spotlights on Thursdays at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We will be back next week with more from your favorite Race Face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Brittany Lung. Thanks for watching.